how to make a drop down menu in Canva website and make it responsive. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video I'm going to show you how you can make a drop down menu into your Canva website. It is not going to be like the usual websites where you are going to have some menu items that you are going to input into your website and have a folder under the menu item but it is going to be something different but it is going to be realizable. So we are going to head over to canva.com. Then we are going to type in on the search bar website, just like that. We're going to see where is our website. So basically either you are going to create a website from scratch, or you are going to choose one of the websites that you have, and then you're going basically to uh, add it to it. So I'm going to start with a website that I have. So I'm going to edit the website real quick. Click on edit. Now, as you can see, I'm going to click on edit design. I'm going to make sure that I have this menu in here. So the first thing that you need to do is at least having here the navigation bar. So you can go ahead and have the navigation menu, which is going to take you to uh, the pages that you have into your website. So basically, I'm going to let you see the preview of the website. This is the preview of it. Now, what are we going to do? is to click on each or any of these, as you can see here, menus or items. And basically it is going to take us into a page within the specific website or the page because the Canva websites are going to be limited to only one page websites. Either it is going to be internal, which is going to be like that. This is an internal, as you can see one or a one page website or you can go ahead and make the links external to take to other websites. How you can make the links right there to the menu items or the words that you have to input, it is going to be very simple. Click on them, then click on more options. Click on normally link or insert a link. Here we have a, a, a link because we have already set up the link. Either you are going to link up or put an anchor onto one of the pages or you can go ahead and put an external link. Now, what are we going to do is going to be on this specific page. I'm going to have here, uh, as you can see, this page, which is going to be considered as the footer. What I am going to do is to add a place where I'm going to have here some more items. Why? Because I cannot have a drop down menu from here. But I am going to give you the idea, which is going to extend a little bit of the navigation bar like that. I'm going to add an item, which is going to be having a, uh, let's say here, a, a menu or a, a drop down menu, which is going to be related to this part or the footer. Now I'm going to uh, put a footer. I'm going to add some elements to that footer. So I'm going to have it just like that and we're going to change the color of it so basically this is not the right place of this arrow so i am going to have it just like that i'm going to group them together then we are going to have the uh, position of them forward so we are not going to be covering them with that so i'm going to make sure that i have covered everything so like that now I'm going to change the color of this page to something more specific. Orange, let's see here, something uh, which will be going well with the color. So I think this orange is going to be okay. Now what I am going to do is to add or start adding some elements like subheadings. We're going, not subheadings, but headings. So we are going to have them here. So I'm going to have the menu items here. I'm going to put them just like that. Boom. Let's say that we are going to have these five elements. Now we are going to have a sub menu or a drop down for an element in here, which is going to be uh, here. We have the menu. We are going to choose something else like I'm going to have more options like something else like supplement uh, here we are going to have here cheese for example or we can go ahead and have um so i'm going basically here to start from here so we are not going to lose the idea i'm going to uh, duplicate this put it here 
change the name I uh, like here I don't know uh, more for example like more like this put it as bold and boom now what are we going to do is to have here more like I don't know here location for example and we are going to have it from here and then like I don't know here we are going to put something else like a pricing also it is going to be placed here now we are going to have ingredient I'm going to place it right there now I'm going to choose another element which is going to be here quality or quality control and finally we are going to have something like uh, I don't know rating reviews reviews for example now as you can see we have put everything in place and what I am going to do basically is to add another frame which is going to help us here to have the menu items so I can go ahead and have them like that maybe I'm going to have the color of this uh, implemented now I'm going to add maybe some elements to this specific menu so we are going to type in pizza for example I'm going to have some images and I am going to add this one like this boom so I'm going to have this uh, installed just like that and here we have it now we are going to have the page named to something so we are going to click on add notes this is the page six on a drop I'm going to name it as drop drop down like that and we are going to link it in here basically I'm going to click on the link is not going to take us to the ebook edit link we're going to have here the last page that we have put so it is going to be named drop down here it is click on link boom now we're going to have it like that and it is going to take us to this page now the turn is going to be for these we are going to need to put some links into them so I can go ahead and have some external links or some let's say here internal links so let's have here I don't know here something else like Google I'm going to have Google so we are going to have this as Google this is just an example so you can go ahead and apply whatever you want from here I'm going to have this also as another Google boom and we're going to have the also this one as an external one quality also same thing paste now I'm going to have the link also and here you go now I'm going to publish the website again so we're going to set it up as republish because we have made some parameters and it is going to be a very accurate if you are going to save the parameters or the editing so we are going to view our website so now we are going to have these standard menu and we have the more which is going to be the drop down it is going to drop down into this place so here whenever I click on any of these elements I'm going to have here an uh, another link or another landing page which will which will take us to another page so basically you've got the idea on how we can make this possible it is not going to be impossible but basically it is going to be um, different from another website builder or other website builder the Canva website uh, or the builders in Canva are going to be a lot different let's say here um, um, right there that they are not going to get all of the necessary tools to set up a real website it is going to be in a form of a landing page a cool designed landing page but it is not going to be as responsive as possible so the responsiveness 
of this uh, website or the drop down is going to be by clicking on it and the action is going to be taking us to this place this is the responsiveness so basically i'm going to click on preview and this is the responsiveness that we have talked about you need only to get um, to this place as you can see i have put some arrows that will take us to the first page in each one of the um, as you can see pages it is going to be very practical if you do not know how to put them it is going to be very easy so you are going to add over here i'm going to add a little bit of an element i'm going to let you see it this is an element or a circle i'm going to make it a little bit smaller i think that it is going to be like that i'm going to have it like this uh, i'm going to put it in white for the color of it it is going to be white and we're going to add from the elements arrow and arrow so we are going to have arrow so we are going to have it just like that this is the arrow i'm going to make it smaller i'm going to have it just like that and i can go ahead and put it into the middle just like that or i can go ahead and click on arrow and see different shapes that will be in here either the graphics or you can go ahead and put something else like the graphics and here we have it so the basic thing that you are going to need is to click on either the graphic and click on link and then you're going to set up the home page on it and here you go so i'm going to preview you're going to head over here you're going to see it right there click on the arrow it will take you right there to the first page so this is pretty much it for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and i hope to see you soon on the next one